In this episode, I've made a draining board for my kitchen. Julia and I struggle with a tent, and I'm grappling with the design of a plate rack. It's another day in the life of the Vobes. And today I'm meeting up with the lovely Julia. We're out back to Goring Gap because we want to get this tent sorted out. You may remember in a video a few, well, a couple of weeks ago, we tried to erect the tent, but we thought that when the tent was erected, that there was a puncture in one of the inflatable beams. But it turns out that it might just be that the, the valves are slightly different than one would expect, that you have to press them on and press them off to change the direction of the valve. I didn't know that, didn't know valves did that. So, gonna meet up with Julia there and we're gonna redo the tent. Um, also, I've got a little USB, what would you call it? A pump, an air pump um, sent in by Steve Mitchell to try. So we'll try that at the same time. So let's, by the magic of science and video editing, get to Goring and get the tent going. And we've arrived. Um, we've actually decided, rather than going right up to Goring Gap, we're just going to do it next to the uh, Goring uh, Sailing Club, I think. There's a little bit of land here. Might be a bit noisy with cars. It's a bit windy today. The lovely Julia is here. She's just getting out of her car. Let's go and make sure that she's all right. How are you, lovely Julia? I'm all right, thank you very much. How are you, lovely Julia? Yeah, I'm all right. Looking forward to seeing if the tent is going to behave itself this time. <laughs> yes, well, we can Or if we can get the valves. To, uh, work it properly. Yeah, so if you saw the other one, uh, we managed to get it all out. We did test everything, but this one thing. So the only thing here is not only is it windy, and I apologize for that, um, so we're just going to press on and try and get that up. Um, there's cut grass everywhere. Yes, it's going to be a bit messy, isn't it? So it's going to end up all over the tent and everywhere, but we'll, we can always brush it down when we get to Inn's field. We, we need a nice little lightweight rake in the... Uh, yeah, more, more stuff. The kit, <laughs> more stuff to carry around. Right, I'm using the magic of uh, special editing, so we'll get on with it. Here we go. I feel like I'm standing here holding on to a prize Shire Stallion or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm still not au fait with how the valves work and even the pump, because at one point I think the pump was just taking the air out before it could go in. Anyway, we've managed to get a frame inside a zip here. So we're just going to see how far we can get yet again. And we'll do this in stages because we can't film and hold the camera and pump and work it out. So, oh. You're so unskilled, oh my gosh. Yes, we're not uh, natural campers. Get me into Move a van. <laughs> get me into a van. <laughs> that was not easy, Julia. It was not. That was definitely not easy. Well, it was a lovely idea, and it was a lovely gesture. But I don't think we're right. We're not meant to do this, are we? Not with this tent. We're just not meant to do it. We have struggled over an hour. Yeah. We've managed to get the frame in, but the, the, I don't understand the valves. Every time we pump it up, they come out. Doesn't matter whether we press the valve in or out. Every time I think I understand it, it goes wrong again. Now. I'm not a complete noob when it comes newbie when it comes to tents. You know, I spent many a year 
um, putting up a big bungalow tent with my mum and dad in, here, you know, in the summer. So, but I've never had experience with the inflatable things and the valves and things. It's bad enough with my bike tyres as a kid, you know, Dad. I know, but I, I, it can't be that difficult, but it no, has no, been. No, it's, but the thing was, this is not getting it. it was what you said. Is it just starting to be unreliable now? Because we yeah. can't be on site. We can't reliably do it. I'm getting so stressed hmm. over this because we'll press the valve in, we'll pump it. No, nope, all right, we press it again. That doesn't make the blind bit of difference. It goes up, the pump keeps coming out. I don't know whether the pump's taking the air out or going in. The trouble is, because, we, we, you know, um, we've, we're getting to know it second hand. So if, we'd, if it was fresh from the manufacturer, we'd, you know, well, it wouldn't make any difference, would no, it? No, 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 because, I don't know, it's just all fresh. You know, it definitely would work. Of course, it's been sitting for six months. It could have degraded. Who knows? I don't think the sitting... No, I'm sure it's fine. It's I'm been sure a it's brilliant us. gift, but... We're so grateful. We're so grateful, but we're so disappointed. We're supposed to be away next week, so we're going to have to cancel that now uh, or come up with something else. Yeah. Um, so we're going to pack it away. And that's it. I don't know, Elizabeth, if you want to have it back, can resell it. Um, we just can't work it. We just cannot work it. Meanwhile, back in the kitchen, hanging up the washing, There we go. I uh, keep all my washing, my drying rather, in the kitchen on uh, rope that hangs from the ceiling so the SE can heat it up. Um, it's good to know that the washing machine is working after all the uh, upheaval. No leaks at all. Sadly, I've noticed these taps are leaking. Uh, I know um, Nigel Sadler made a comment on uh, the previous video saying that these are not really meant to be used on a regular basis. They're just to turn on and turn off valves. I don't know how true that is. I can imagine that they're not overly designed only to be used occasionally and using them regularly might, be, might not be uh, perfect. So it may be that above here, I can fit some other taps. Um, that's a shame, but I'll look into that. Um, but what I have done and I wanted to show you is this. I was thinking about a draining board. And this is the draining board in operation. So I've linseed oiled it and I've put, um, still a bit tacky actually, some beeswax on it as well. So the idea is this, okay, it's a bit gash underneath. Don't look underneath, who cares about that? But this is it, it's got two runners either side to stop water and it's just three planks. It's actually skirting boards, I think, uh, bolted together with a little stopper underneath there that slots in here so it can't fall off that way. Yes, you can go more forward that way and I could put a stopper underneath, which I may do. It comes back here and it doesn't hit the tap or the pipe. Um, it is at a slight angle, so water will run off into the draining board. So you can wash up, wash something like a cup, place it on there and the water will actually run, particularly if there's a lot of water, otherwise it's sort of very slow. Um, but it's not penetrating the wood, which is the important thing, so it won't rot. Um, it is at a slight angle. I've also got a platform at the other side here, which is great. Let's get rid of that for the moment. There we are, look, that, that runs off. The T runs off and falls in the sink. Um, but the other great thing is that it can hang here on the wall, tucked out the way so that you can get into this point. You can access the washing machine, which is uh, important. Um, and it's there when you want it, so I don't want it all the time. Um, but when I do want it, it's very easy to set up like that. Done. Piece of cake. So, 
about the tent. I've sent an email to Elizabeth and explained what was happening with the tent and the fact that we, I don't think we're going to be able to chance it. So I think somewhere in the shed I've got, well, I think a one man tent. So I think one, one of us, when we go away, will have to sleep in the van, probably the lovely Julia, and I'll sleep out in this one man tent in a sleeping bag or something. So it is still doable, but it's not quite how we envisaged it. Oh, I wanted to show you this. I mentioned Steve Mitchell's pump. He bought me this pump I, I, out of the blue. I didn't expect it. Yeah, this is a pump. You wouldn't think it. It's charged up on the USB. There's a little port on it and a button. And it blows, sucks in air one side, blows it out the other, and you get a whole load of different, um, let's turn that off for a second. You get a whole load of different um, nozzles and things, you know, attachments, so that it should, in theory, attach to any kind of situation that you might need it to do. Um, so it's, it's very clever, very clever little pump. He says it will also blow up the tires on the car or the van, should you need it. So uh, it's very sleek, isn't it? Um, and I quite like the, uh, the, the old fashioned stirrup pump action. It's very funny and comical on camera, but uh, handy having something like this in the van just in case. Keep it charged up and you never know when you might need it. So thank you very much, Steve. Appreciate that. We did try it on the tent and although we could attach it and everything, um, I don't know what's going on with the valves in the tent. So um, hmm, I think we'll have to forgo that idea and go with this other one, which is a shame. That might do it. I have a piece of wood here. Oh, um, excuse the mess. The house is still in a state from after all the building work at the weekend. And there's lots of little jobs, as you know. So I haven't bothered to move things. And I've got to find homes for things like this. It's a useful old shelf that was in the kitchen. It'll probably go in the utility room. So anyway, I've got another plank. This is an actual piece of floorboard. Um, and it's okay, it doesn't have any woodworm in it. I don't know where I got it from. I've been outside for a bit, so it's a bit weathered. Now, lovely Anne Wright, one of my viewers, has offered me a plate rack, and that's very kind of her, but um, I wanted to see if I could make one that's a bit bespoke. So I hope Anne isn't gonna mind, but I'm gonna have a go at making one, and if it fails, I will claim hers. Um, the idea is that I want to make a, a plate rack so that when I wash up, I can immediately take the plates, put them on the rack, they'll drip onto the drainer, the portable drainer I showed you a few minutes ago, and that will go into the sink so there's no water on the floor. But I want the plate rack fixed in the kitchen on the wall. So I'm just looking for a piece of wood that will go up the sides, have some dowel along the bottoms that the plates will sit on, and then some other dowel wood that will separate the plates. And I want it, I don't know, something about that big, but it's about two foot, I suppose. Um, and today is just one of those days where I seem to be incredibly clumsy and I'm always knocking things or banging things. So it's probably not the best day to actually start making something because I feel I'm gonna cock it up. However, um, I think there's probably enough wood here to make the sides. So I might give it a go and I'll show you uh, when it's finished. Well, here it is. I've been grappling with this um, <laughs> for several hours, trying to knock it in together. And really, I think this is probably the prototype, although I'm gonna finish it and stick it on the wall and see how it looks. And at some point I perhaps re will rebuild it. Um, it's made out of, in the end, I didn't use those bits of wood that I uh, showed you just now. Um, I've used some other bits which have been lining and uh, the, 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 the framing, that's the word, framing the window. 
but I thought actually this would these would be perfect for what I want. They're a bit lighter for hanging on the wall and stuff. I've got some dowel and um, some other bits of dowel which are going to be the runners which will hold the plates into position. Uh, if I can get them back in again, like that. Um, so this is how how in theory it works. The plate sits on the lower dowels like this and rests on the plate rack. However, I have worked out, I've done this a little bit wrong because the plates twist like this and they fall through, which is not the idea that I want. So it may be that I could uh, add more dowels, but I think I need another layer of dowels here so the plates go on and they can't go anywhere. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. And there it is. Right, let's stand it up. There we go. Look at that. It's there. Now I have got some plates so we can double check it. I've got the two rungs of dowels that way. Two rungs. These have yet to be fixed. We'll make sure they're in. Um, but we have some plates. So let's see if they work. They've just got to go in very easily. And there they are, quite relaxed. I think they're not, can they twist round? Not really, if they twist, they still don't fall out. I can see they're not dropping down onto the table here, or indeed when it's hanging up. Let's just test that. There we go, holding it up there. Fabulous. Well, I am very pleased with the overall prototype. Oh, um, look, the lovely Julia has come in to do a little bit of help. Hello, Julia, what have you been up to? I've been waxing lyrical, putting beeswax on the uh, side over here. Oh, yes. Um, I've got beeswax on the drain board, and now that you've done that, there's beeswax on that. That sort of finishes that little area, doesn't it? Yes, yes. You'll need some more beeswax. Oh, we run out. Run out. Uh, that's the trouble. And I need to get some more because I think I probably have to beeswax it every six months or so. Absolutely. Just to make sure the Keep water... Keep watertight. Exactly. So anyway, what do you think of the plate rack? Because it does do what it, it says. It does what it says on the, on the, on the tin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of finessing. Um, and I know it's, it's all secondhand wood, so at the moment it's not really finished in terms of painting and mm -hmm. that sort of thing. So what would you think about the colours? And think, also in the kitchen itself? I think it's marvellous. I think you've done an amazingly job with that. The colour, I actually quite like that tone, that blue, but it would be great if you could tone it down because it would, I, for me, it would flush nice. You could use it actually as a theme throughout the kitchen because you've got the terracotta going all the way through. Yeah, that's so true. So to have the, a paler... Paler version of this colour would be awesome. So I can do the shelves because they're the same bits of wood. I mean, I'm just using yeah, yeah, old yeah. stuff and it would be nice. And we can see it kind of works there. Yeah, yeah, no, and people have said they kind of like that yes, colour. Yes, I've noticed that. We just smarten it all up a bit. So, mm -hmm. a, so paint everything white first. Yes. And then... Make a paler blue, and then, maybe with the bathroom blue. Oh yeah, to match the bathroom. Yeah, and then, because and that, that paler blue would tone in with the, uh, yeah. the bulk of the dresser. Do you think I should leave these dowel coloured? I quite like dowel. Yeah, it's, it's a nice white. tone, cause, and you've got that tone throughout. Yeah, so a bit of wood. Linseed oil and Wood, blue, wax. and terracotta. Fantastic. And then once I've done that, I can mount it on the wall, because I thought I I'll, I'll, might mm -hmm. as well paint it. I only want to mount it once. Yeah, it's perfect. I mean, it'll drip straight down and onto the, hopefully, Drainer. on the draining board. Fantastic. 
And finally, got a good bit of news. I've heard from Elizabeth. I got in touch with her um, earlier and said, you know, we're a bit troublesome with the tent and not struggling. We're a bit dense when it comes to pumping up. And she said, don't worry, because she's going to send us a slightly smaller one, more manageable. It's a, a pop up tent and hopefully be here by next week so that we can still go away. If not, then we'll uh, come up with another plan but we can use this other tent for future camping trips, mm. which will be brilliant. So Fantastic. Elizabeth, so thank kind. you so much. It was such a lovely gift. And I'm sorry that we just couldn't get to grips with it. So uh, embarrassing. <laughs> I know we feel so foolish, but <laughs> hey ho, but it's so kind of you to have another one that we can have. And we'll be sending the old one back so that, um, I don't know, you can either sell it or keep it or whatever you want to do give it to somebody else who yeah, knows about who, who can actually function it yeah. function it function it use it to its best function is what i mean anyway that's it for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to follow like subscribe become a patron and uh, there'll be more kitchen adventures and hopefully some more walks it's raining outside as we're filming but it'd be nice to get out and do a bit of walking won't it julia yes yeah. some trees would be perfect so till next time bye bye, bye.